great grandfather, Franklin Guy Hay, was an American soldier and also an engineer who worked with Engineer Cannon when the Cannon Road was built in 1903. In the process of the construction of a Cannon Road, my great grandfather got sick. The doctors had advised him to find a place that is cold. He followed the advice. He came up to this northern part of Benguet and found this grassland. He fell in love with the place and declared it as a homestead. When he had a house, he started planting the temperate vegetables. He had carrots, potatoes, cabbages, turnips, rhubarb, and strawberries. His parents in the United States had been sending the vegetable seeds. So he started teaching the people around to plant vegetables. My great-grandfather also looked for a wife, our great-grandmother Susie. They had four children, John, Tom, Margaret, and William. There was a boy from Kapangan who worked with them in Cannon Road. My great-grandfather loved him like a son. He brought Celo with him. He was the first one then that he had taught how to plant the vegetables. Most of the men around worked for them. The American had been teaching them how to till their land, how to plant the vegetables, giving them a better way of living. When they sell their vegetables, they can now have access to those other needs in life. There was a Chinese man in La Trinidad. He saw a cart filled with cabbage heads. He asked the guy in the cart where the vegetables came from. The man told him that that came from Hate's place up in Pauai. The Chinese guy came up and saw the place. In La Trinidad, there were no cabbages at the time. He was the first man actually who started commercial farming in Pauai. The land that Franklin Guy Haight has declared has been divided into his four children. Our parents also had already assigned those land areas that were given to them. And that is what we till now as our farms. We are continuing the legacy of our great-grandfather at these times that we are all farming as the third generation, people always come to our place. Agritourism became an industry. We have this old house of our great-grandmother. We talk about refurbishing it and have it rented out like an inn. And also maybe you can have a restaurant and a cafe for the tourists to enjoy. We are lucky to have Franklin Guy Haight to be our great-grandfather because he has introduced the vegetable industry in Benguet. The Americans who have been coming to the Philippines have landmarks. In Baguio City, we have Burnham Park, Harrison Road, Cannon Road.
My great-grandfather has no landmark, but his legacy is felt by all people planting the vegetables. We can always tell our visitors when they come that the vegetables you're eating are here because of Franklin Guy Haight.